back, everybody. I don't want to scare you too much, but Mother's Day is just about two weeks away, so you'd better get busy. And today, Phil Steinhauer with Designscapes Colorado has some wonderful ways to create a Mother's Day plant container or one for Father's Day, which is also coming up yep. in June. Not so, too far away. Yeah, and if you plant these things now, they'll really fill in by the time the big days get here. So what they do you have for us? Well, to start off, there's really no rules. And what I really wanted to try to create here was kind of a flea market effect where it can be an old tool, toolbox, an old suitcase, an old boot, an old fruit or vegetable crate or pop crate, uh, an old krill for fly fishing, old pots and pans. So again, you want to follow the same rules when you plant anything. All these things would like you know, great drainage. So Wonderful. some of these. So you have even you have drainage in this cowboy boot here. This you I have it just actually set in there. So there's two ways you could actually plant this and then just drill a hole in the side of, uh, of an old boot. OK, so make or sure the water has just, a way to yes. escape. And so this one now just escapes and I just have set a plant in there. That's um, so much fun, Phil. And, and so again, there's several ways you can do those things. If you don't want to ruin your container, actually, if I step around you real sure. fast, mm -hmm. um, great ways to do that are just a piece of fabric like this. So you could line your krill. It allows the water to go through, but doesn't get the mud and dirt all over your object. If you have a wicker basket, you'd like to okay. keep. Okay, and so just to be clear, you're talking about landscaping fabric, yep. this plastic, the, and it's pliable breathable, stuff. And, and it'll hold your soil. So you could actually lay that on the inside of that boot. Okay. And then just put your soil right in that. Wonderful. Or actually what works great is your old supermarket bags. They're just really? out of a fabric and they drain. So you could plant, fill this with soil, plant it up, and then set it inside one That's of your containers. Wonderful to know. Okay. Yep. Um, and so you've used a toolbox, as you mentioned, and the yep. fruit or vegetable crates down there, an old enameled Ooh. pan. Yep. And there's another one there. And then Here, that old... leftover Easter basket. And this fishing creel is so nice. And then I like some of the old buckets and watering cans that you can, you know, just plant up that are this galvanized uh, metal. Can you that see can... that? And you put, oh, you've made a real nice variety in there. It's, it's got a bunch of different types yeah, of plants. Yeah, and it. kind of with, as we know, we're supposed to get some snow on Wednesday. Right. Um, really about the only thing you're safe planting right now if you want to get out is the pansies or maybe this stock here. Okay. The rest of these are uh, like the petunias and the geranium will take a colder temperature so after we get the snow, but they won't take a hard frost. So, okay. Again, Mother's Day is really the day you want to start kind of getting things, you know, that are safe. But if you had a, a nice sheltered place to do this, a yes. garage, Yep, for or else example. just cover it up. Take, again, a piece of this fabric is oh. a great thing. So if you had planted this, just drape it over that so that the frost, you know, isn't going to sit on your blooms. All right, wonderful. And then I have kind of one other quick idea. This is an old chair. And, uh, you know, you can find these at, again, thrift stores or antique stores for fairly reasonable. This was $10. And I just took out the center. Um, it was a piece of... Uh, that cane right, painting, right. and I just took that out and then sanded it and painted it, and then you can take and make it a plant stand and set your container right in oh there. Oh my like, goodness. Like that, and so you just want to make sure your pot's a little bit bigger than your uh, chair, and you could paint this if you wanted and say welcome on it and put it next to your front door. Color coordinate it. You have so many uses for something like that. You could make that a, a home uh, a housewarming gift. You could. These are great ideas, Phil. Thank you so much. You're and welcome. if you would like more information, we're going to put a link to Phil's website, Designscapes Colorado, on our website, denverchannel.com. And I'll also have this on Facebook, and I'll tweet it out as well. But right now, we send it to Dale.